we set up the payroll and then we process the first month of payroll and you can see the accounts that are impacted on down below it put the liability accounts into this one account for the liabilities these are the withholdings and our taxes withheld but not yet paid to the government and then on the income statement side of things it put the the uh, expense side in this account called wages and then the taxes now you might have a question in terms of how might i want to map these items differently and and we'll also take a look at some other kind of payroll settings that are up in the cog up top so in other words, you might be saying, hey, look, I, I have some people I would like to map to one payroll account, possibly as salaried employees, and then another payroll account for non-salaried employees. So maybe you want multiple payroll accounts depending on department or whether they're salary or not. How can we map these to different accounts? On the liability side, you might say, hey, look, I would like to be breaking out, not in this format, I wanna break out my federal taxes between the social security and the and the medicare for whatever reason and the federal income tax into separate accounts so i can see them one at a time maybe that makes it a little bit easier for you to tie out to your to your 941s or something like that maybe you want to see the employee versus the employer taxes broken out into different accounts or something like that then we can go into the settings up top to look at that mapping now note this is a little bit different then the desktop version if you're used to the desktop version we've got the the payroll items that we we can kind of adjust here a lot of our payroll settings will be up in the cog up top